note uh, language, this, I'm breaking it down simply that you can see the two sides that are going on. These are just some opposites, but uh, they, they become these uh, tricking words um, that are used on the legal system by um, lawyers who, of course, are going to promote a system that they benefit from. So the, um, when we're talking about law in its pure sense, we're talking about the, the law that comes from God. Um, when we're talking about legal, we're talking about the father of the lie, Satan. Um, he's an inventor, not a creator. That's where you get this word invent. Um, it's not a good word, invent, when used really in the, uh, even in the context of legal, it, it, it's, it's to deceive. Um, it's, a, it's a contrivance, an artifice being used to uh, take advantage of somebody. Uh, so, you know, when we're, when we're looking at these words, we've got to be careful because these are spells. There's good spells and bad spells. Satan's side's based on a bad spell that's always hanging over your head. Um, in the world of truth, um, you're, you're dealing with uh, a spiritual good um, use of words. And uh, therefore, w when we break these down, we're going to get a better understanding. So when we go across, we, we've got, you know, of course, law with God. We've got legal with Satan, the father of the lie. Um, we know God is the, you know, creator. He's the one of truth. Um, we know that uh, everything really is, you know, good and, and has credit. There is no debt. Um, but in the world of legal, because it's working with a debtor system uh, that requires uh, people to continue with no hope, only dealing with sin and debt, that's why they, of course, would have to have a name, of course, that would be used in fiction, not in truth, which would be a surname, a last name, or a family name that's uh, dealing with uh, uh, connotations that people have not really researched because the unwary would not realize surname comes from agnomination or agnomen, a debt or a debtor. Um, a last name in, or last is a burden spoken of in law to do a, do a little bit of research. And of course, when they're talking about family, they're talking about stock. So once you're in this, you're part of the stockade. Um, then you, of course, they'll, your given name, of course, is on the truthful side. It's a fact. It's a given. But then you've, and it's also spiritual, opposite to where the lawyers will talk about things of fact, but it's really factitious in their world. Um, it's not really a fact. And then, of course, they're dealing with the corporate idea or the corpus, a dead body, um, because you're considered to be dead, not the living. So we have to, we have to kind of look at this um, and, and just take a step back sometimes and realize that we may not have seen these things. Um, and it takes time to absorb it. And why a lot of the videos are, at times, may seem repetitive, it's because people are skipping over things and they're, they're jumping uh, back into the legal so quickly because they, they believe that there's, there's no other way. Um, but the only way this can work is based on your lack of knowledge. So you have to re, um, retrain your mind uh, to get out of that fictional world uh, that is being definitely run by the lawyers uh, it's, it's interesting that the word uh, on, the, on their side, what we talk about corpus or corporation, um, it's, it's, got an interesting, uh, it's got an interesting meaning, assumption of a body incarnation. Um, they're dealing with a material world that's based on selfishness, about uh, greed, about wealth, um, about things that are you know, made up. We know that money doesn't grow on trees, but certainly... Uh, money seems to be the drug and represents that and the wealth. But uh, when, they, when I saw that corporation, an assumption of a body, incarnation, you know, as, as you've probably seen in previous videos, I seem to break these things down and I realize that's really an interesting concept in today's modern world, uh, that term assumption of a body, incarnation, and everybody's driving a car that's part of these nations, that are part of the I-Magi nation so, uh, of men. So it's... Uh, it is in the words. Everything is in the words. These words have uh, messages. There's letters in them. Um, you were not taught this. So remember, a letter has a meaning. Um, it has a message. Uh, but unfortunately, because of lack of knowledge, no one uh, went to the rudiment of what we're talking about here to go right into these words to find out what they mean. 
Um, and because of that, they've been easily tripped up and uh, driven into a realm of a prison in their own mind based on spells that they don't uh, comprehend the meaning to. So we got to take the time. It requires the time to do that. Uh, certainly anything I've written down or anything that I've researched uh, didn't happen by chance. It happened because of just going there and simply uh, looking at the words and finding out what the meanings are. And certainly you can do the same thing. So hopefully this video is giving you some insight.